<clears throat> well, I guess I just I should just start talking here. This is my very first TikTok live. Never used this platform before for a live, so I have no idea how it works. I tried to do a little bit of homework. Um, just testing it out, actually. My expectations are really low at this point. Just seeing who's going to come on here and whatnot. Pretty happy about getting a thousand followers. When I started this, that was my goal to get a thousand followers so that I could do exactly this go live on TikTok. Uh, it's a very, very different platform than YouTube. YouTube is where my biggest base is. I have over 600 videos on my YouTube channel, and it's all related to or about correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. The wonderful grammar technology brought to the public in 1988 by Foucault and David Eiffel and Miller, who, by the way, passed away five years ago on the summer solstice, which I don't know what your now space location is, but that is today for me in the continuum location. It's the summer solstice. So five years ago on the summer solstice of 2018, full colon David Eiffelwink, full colon Miller passed away. He left this domain. So much honor and love goes out to that man because my personal experience of that man is that during the last year of his life from 2017 until 2018 he was very gracious and accepting my phone calls I spoke with him multiple times on the telephone text messages Skype conversations and emails I was actually <laughs> proofreading his website at the time he passed away. I would find spelling errors and things like that and send it to him and he, and he would put them on the website and, and correct them. So, here's to you, Colin David Eiffelwin, Colin Miller. Here's something. Next month, in July, I will be putting on a Correct Sentence Structure Communication webinar. You can find information about this over on my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash Jason Matthew Glass. You can just click on the YouTube link in my TikTok bio. It'll take you over there. You'll find a video that gives you all the information you need if you want to attend the webinar. To attend the webinar, it is a $42 minimum donation gift. The webinar is going to be two to three hours long. And I'm going to show you how to create a correct sentence structure communication on the spot. Lickety split. Off the top of your head. I'm going to show you how to do that in the webinar. And then I'm going to take some time and field questions from the audience. You can ask me whatever you want, as long as it is quantum grammar related. You can ask me personal questions, whatever you want, as long as it's quantum grammar related. I've been doing this for five plus years, since the summer of 2017. I've taught hundreds of people all over the earth, done workshops, spoken with literally hundreds of people, if not thousands of people, all over the earth. My YouTube channel has over 600 videos on it. All my correct sentence structure knowledge, free to the public. Um, so, long and short of it. If you want to attend the webinar, here's how it works. Email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and tell me you're interested in attending the webinar. Please leave your full correct name. For full closure, 
You know my name. You know my full name. You know what I look like. I just ask the same consideration of you. Please don't use nom de guerres or anything like that. Just be you. I will put your email into a folder. And then when I reach capacity uh, that I've set for the webinar, and by the way, I'm over two-thirds there, so it's almost filled up. So if you want to attend, you better get your email in there. Uh, but when I reach capacity, I will then send an email out to all the potential attendees and tell them the exact time and date location in July when the webinar will be uh, performed. If you can attend, you send me back an email confirming, yes, Jason, I can, I can be there on that date and time. I, in turn, will then ten, uh, send you the location of the Safe Harbor port where you can send your $42 donation for maintenance of Rule 1, Rule Equal. And then once you send that donation, and I see that it has docked in my Safe Harbor then I will confirm that with you, and then shortly before the scheduled time, I will send you out a Zoom link, because I only use Zoom. I don't use any other platform. For the five years, I've only used Zoom. That's it. I have a professional package deal contract with them. I'm comfortable with that. I'm not a real technical guy, so it's easy for me to use Zoom. That's what I use. And then I'll send out the link to you, and then we'll do the webinar. But I... Highly recommend you go into my YouTube channel and uh, watching the video about the July webinar. So let me look at some of these comments here. Hello there, purple HRT combat vet. Thank you, John. Appreciate that. If you want to attend the webinar, go ahead and uh, shoot me an email with your correct name on it and um, RSVP your spot. By the way, those who are members of my YouTube channel, meaning those that have paid uh, for membership on my YouTube channel, they will get priority over non-members. It's just a courtesy I'm extending to them because they support what I do. They value what I do and they want to give something back for maintenance of rule one, rule equal. I appreciate that. And so that's a courtesy I'm giving them. They will get priority over non-members. I appreciate your viewership, John. I really do. Um... No, it is not. The first colon would be tied up against John. And then after your middle name, you have the colon. Then you would have a space. And then E-S-C-O-T-O, -O, period. So there needs to be a space in between the E and the colon there. And no space between the colon and the J and John. Because those colons represent position lodial phrases. In this case, it's for the John hyphen teniente of the escoto, full stop. That's how it would be written. But it's okay. You can write it to your best of your knowledge. I mean, all we can do, man, is navigate to the best of our knowledge. That's it. I'm having a little bit of a celebration here because I have reached a thousand followers. Much thanks to everybody out there. And by the way, I know that I talk about the three principles that I, psychological principles that I teach, uh, the balance of the honor and the grace, the position of peace and neutrality, and the maintenance of the rule one rule equal. Those are very important, no doubt. But if someone comes in and violates those principles, if they violate the peace and neutrality, if they ignore the honor and the grace, 
and they totally spit on the rule one, rule equal, then those terms and conditions are off the table. And I will do whatever I need to do to neutralize the threat. Do you get my meaning? John, I'm sure you do. So just because you claim a position of peace and neutrality doesn't mean you don't know how to mess people up. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your viewership. Over 100 videos. I know, you know, if, especially if you're working a full-time job and things like that, it is not easy. When I first started in 2017 and I first started studying this stuff, I would, uh, how do you say it? I would take, like, for example, the nine-hour David Wynn Miller videos, and I would transpose them to MP3s, and I would put headsets in, and I would listen 10 to 12 hours a day to MP3s of David Wynn Miller or Russell J. Gould and just learn repeatedly every day, day after day after day after day, thousands of hours, and just learn. And, and you know, because I was hungry to get closure on this grammar. That's how I did it. No matter what I was doing, whether I was working or doing stuff around the house, I would be listening and learning all the time. Um... I am domiciled in the territory of Michigan, just outside of Detroit. You know, I really don't like to watch stuff where people are eating and drinking, but I really can't help myself right now. I'm pretty happy about reaching over a thousand followers, so... I am eating and drinking on camera, and I do apologize for anyone this offends. Um, <clears throat> this is the first live I've done, Greg. I just reached a thousand followers here on TikTok, which enables me to go live. So this is the first live I've done. I'm still learning it. I'm actually trying to figure out how to get value out of it. Because I'm investing now space and time into doing this. So I'm trying to figure out how to get some value out of it to make it worth my while to do it. So it appears as though the way to do that is if you, the viewer, uh, value what I do, then you would do something on the bottom here and you would send gifts to me. And then that would make it worth my while to come on here and teach and give you something of value. Now, what I've done already is I've already put up dozens and dozens of TikTok videos teaching different aspects of correct sentence structure. If you value that, then you in turn would send a gift to me. Uh, so that, that's the experiment here. I'm going live to see if it's actually worth my while to be on this platform teaching this stuff. Because my main platform is YouTube. And on YouTube, you can send super chats. You can join memberships and stuff like that. Or people apply for workshops. And, uh, you know, I get donation and gifts that way because I don't do anything else. This is all I do. This is, this is it right here. So if you find this valuable, then you would send whatever you think it's worth. That's the way it works. So in order to give you some value out of this, do you have any questions? Do you have any correct sentence structure, communication, policy, syntax, grammar questions? Because keep in mind, the, one of the main principles is the maintenance of rule one, rule equal. What you put in is what you get out. Right now, I'm giving to you the value of this live stream. What are you putting into it? Do you have a question for me? Do you have a grammar question? 
What level are you at? Do you know what correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar is? If someone came up to you on the street and said, hey, Greg, what's quantum grammar? How would you be able to explain it to him in seven words or less? Would you be able to do that? A lot of people don't even know what it is. <laughs> so the way to, be get, to get closure on that is think of the words quantum and grammar. If you know what it means to parse something, do you know what it means to parse something? Parse just means it's the particles of a word. So when you parse something, you would look up, like, for example, the syllables of a word. You would look it up in an etymology dictionary and go back to the earliest nativity root meaning of that particle. That's what it means to parse. So if you parse the word quantum, then you know a quantum of something is a limited quantity of something. So quantum grammar is a limited quantity of grammar. For example, this cup only holds a limited amount of liquid, right? You can only fill it up with a limited amount, a finite amount of liquid. It's the same thing with a word. You can fill up a word with value. One value, that's it. That's the word vessel. That's quantum grammar. One and one is one. In the fiction, they use things called definitions. DE means no, as in defrost, right? Means no frost. <clears throat> or debunk means no BS, right? So DE means no, finite, definition, T, finite, ION means contract, so no finite contract. That's why you have multiple meanings for words in dictionaries. With quantum grammar, it's one word, one meaning. That's it. One and one is one. Let's see. I'm looking for a teacher, so yeah, we'll find a way to gift on this. Or you can email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com, email in the bio, and apply for a workshop. I do have a complete curriculum on this. I've been teaching it for five plus years. So, I'm trying to look at, uh, oh wow, it says here I have 79 viewers. And one like. That doesn't seem right. How can I have 98 viewers and one like? Oh, now we have 16 likes. 31 likes. Oh, wow. This must be delayed. 107 viewers. Jeez, this is crazy. Please forgive me, friends and neighbors. This is my first TikTok live. I have no idea what's going on here. But I very much appreciate everybody being here. Hey, how do you feel about America? Well, I'm a grammar tutor, so, I mean, America, that, that's a loaded question. What do you mean by America? Do you mean North America? Do you mean South America? Do you mean Central America? The Americas is a pretty big place. I feel it's a pretty big uh, set of continents. That's how I feel about it. Imaginary fictional boundaries don't really, I mean, I don't really think too much about those things. I usually go by a one-on-one -on -one human basis about things. I have friends from all over the earth, literally all over the earth. I have friends from Kazakhstan. I have friends from Australia, New Zealand. I have friends in Greece, Denmark. Spain, France, Mexico, even Ukraine, Russia, Canada, all kinds of friends.
All right. That was interesting. It went up to 107, and now it's down to 22. <clears throat> that was super nuts. Not where you don't have respect at. Well, you see, here's the thing about respect. If I think about it from a quantum grammar point of view, RE is a particle of negation. It means no spect, respect. The reason why RE is a particle of negation is because it negates the now space. I use the principle of the balance of the honor and the grace. If someone's honorable, I don't care where they're from. I will contract with them. Contract is everywhere and it's everything. That's where correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar comes in. Right, right. So, so, you still haven't really completed a sentence. What does that mean, A plus diamond? You haven't even put a period at the end of your comments, so you haven't completed a sentence either. I don't know what you mean by that. You want me to say the word full stop after every time I complete a sentence? I really don't know what you mean. Do you have a question? Email sent. Let's check and see if we got the email here. All right, we do. Thank you, Greg. I'll get back to you in the 72 hours. Thank you. No, you should have you should have referred to my last comment before you answered. Your comments are actually kind of confusing because you said no, you should have. You should have. I don't I don't know what you mean, but I'm going to go back and look here. How do you feel about America? I answered that question. America is a fictional concept. What America are you talking about? First, we have to clarify that. Are you talking about North America? Are you talking about South America? Are you talking about Central America? What America are you talking about? Please clarify. You did answer that, and I was just, I wanted to know more about your personal mind. Well, that, that's fine. I appreciate that. Uh, but here's the thing. You are A plus diamond. We told me that we don't respect you. I didn't say that. <laughs> when did I say that? I never said, I never said that. I, I don't really care about that. I really don't. I mean, I use my correct name on here. You don't. For maintenance of rule one, rule equal. I mean... What's your correct name? You know my correct name. I ask the same consideration of you. You're here aboard my vessel. So you can show me the common courtesy of sharing your correct name. Correct? Then we can maybe start getting somewhere with contract. Are you interested in quantum grammar? Are you inter interested in learning it? Joshua Lee Herman. I'm on a dinghy passing by. Yeah, I know I didn't ask you for anything more than what you just evade. No, actually. You see, you have to, the first part of rule one rule equal is establishing knowledge. And I'm trying to establish your knowledge level. And you haven't specified what you mean by America. So until you do that, we can't really proceed, can we? Thank you very much, Purple Heart Combat Vet. I appreciate the support. There's always got to be a troll somewhere, doesn't there? imagination of America. Exactly. You see, when someone says a comment like that, it tells me their knowledge level of what they're talking about. I mean, when you talk about being a proud American, 
my wife is Native American. She's Mohawk and Algonquin. All right. Her people were on the Americas before uh, my descendants came here. So you got to be very careful when you talk about stuff like that. You know, showing ignorance about those types of things just says that you have to study a little bit more. You have to learn a little bit more and be a little bit more considerate about what you say. America is a fictional condition of state developed by the fiction system to get people to buy into a Hegelian dialectic of political parties, basically. Because we have North America, which includes Canada and the United States. And we have Central America, which includes all the Central American countries. And then we have South America, which includes a whole mess of countries down there. So when you say America, you got to know what you're talking about. Geography is good. Yes, but this is not a geography channel. This is a grammar channel. And so far you have shown no evidence of grammar knowledge. Matter of fact, if you go back and read your comments, it's uh, actually definitely proof of non-grammar knowledge. Of even plain, simple English. So yeah, that'd be a good place to start for you. Study plain English. And also be take care in what you write in your uh, comments. My family will respect me. Really? Do you rule with an iron rod? <laughs> I could give two shits about respect. It's a no contract word. What I care about is the balance of honor and grace, the position of peace and neutrality, and the maintenance of rule one, rule equal. And that's about it. So speaking of grammar, does anybody have a grammar question? I'd be happy to answer. That's the whole purpose and function of this channel is to teach grammar. So if you have a grammar question, go ahead and answer. I mean, sorry, go ahead and ask. I'd be curious to know what everybody's knowledge level is here. For this claim and sensation of the cognition is with this correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, claim of the facts with the knowledge by this claimant, period. Syntax, syntax. In your opinion, Jason, does this make sense? Not really, because you've modified the spelling of the word. With correct sentence structure, one and one is one. So if you spell a word S-I-N-T-A-X, then that would have a different meaning than S-Y-N-T-A-X. You see what I'm saying? If you have your own dictionary, which you would need, among other things, if you're going to do correct sentence structure, document, contract, postal, vessel, court, venues. Most have the same level of grammar the schools offered us. Actually, that's not true because I found, I mean, it is true to a point, but I found that the, the learning of plain English has gone downhill. And you can see that in the grammar of the comments on social media. So I'm still worried about you. Where are you from? Well, don't worry about me. I appreciate that, but you, know, you don't need to uh, worry about that. No, I did not claim ignorance about America. I asked you, what did you mean by America? Do you mean North America, South America, Central America? What do you mean by America? I just asked you to give me closure on the terms of your comment. If that's too difficult for you, then um, maybe I could rephrase it and ask you in a, even distill it down to a more simpler way. Give me your finite mean, i.e. definition of America, and then I will answer your question. 
Oh, so is America the name of a girl? Hmm. I've never met a girl named America. That's interesting. Yeah, they're acting kind of erratic. I'm wondering. I might have to... Uh... Yeah, I, t I took them out. Because <clears throat> they're making absolutely no sense at all. Greg, I did. Thank you. I did. And if you go by the uh, the mechanics of quantum grammar, the word America itself, it's a vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word, so it means no. You wouldn't use that in quantum grammar. A, vo a, a vowel in front of a consonant at the beginning of a word means no. And I do have multiple videos on my YouTube channel. You can find the link in my bio where I go into great depth and great detail on why that is. They're long videos, but if you want to learn this stuff, it's definitely something you have to invest in uh, to, to get a handle on this stuff, yeah? For this claim, it's knowledge of the facts is with this claim of the gratitude, with the viewership of the TikTokers, with the sensation by this claimant, period. Have you used the system to stop a fraud contract? Of course I have, Greg. I have multiple, multiple successful document contract postal vessel court venues that I've used in my own federal postal court Um Using postal mechanics, banking mechanics, flag mechanics, and grammar mechanics, I stopped bureaucratic trespass multiple times, not only for myself, but also for confidential clients. Of course. I wouldn't be doing this if, if, <laughs> if it didn't work. This is full of cases. <laughs> that I've done over the years, since 2017. All right, I appreciate everybody that's been here and uh, participated with this. I'm gonna do more lives. Unfortunately, I can't really, you know, I'm not in a position to actually give a time or location where I'm gonna go live every time. So I just ask that you turn your notifications on and then I'll go live, and then we'll, we'll uh, meet again. So, again, thank you very much for participating on this augural live, and I'll see you next time. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like. And I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the Subscribe button. Hit the Like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here, you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.